Hello and welcome to New Junction. Right, the station is ready for the uh, next layer, as it were. Um, so I've been looking for um, a way to custom build a super canopy, like you see on all the major stations, um, in particular the, the one on Newcastle Station, um, which is very similar to the one at York, actually. Um, during my digging, I was asking around a few... Um, a few friends of mine, um, one of which came up with a very good idea, um, which was the columns that come with the Pico roof kits um, actually look very similar to the columns you see on the East Coast Main Line on the, uh, the super canopies. Um, so I got in touch with a good friend of mine, Bren, um, who oddly enough just happened to have masses of these spare and he extremely kindly sent me these at his own cost um, and that's what's in this envelope here um, the Pico bases so in the kits is literally just the sprues which form the uh, the columns um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, take these off and I mean there are masses of them in this envelope take them off the sprues and then uh, see how we get on so as I'm sure you'll be aware, I'm trying to model my station very loosely on Newcastle Central Station. Um, and as you can see from this photo taken from it within the station, um, all the columns um, have a sort of royal blue base and then they've got a, a white uh, upper to them. Um, one thing I've always noticed when going through these stations is for whatever reason they never seem to age like the rest of the station. So while the rest of the station is sort of weathered and grubby, the columns always are shiny. <laughs> I presume that's just the paint they used. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I've got a selection of uh, humble sprays here. Um, obviously I've got the primer, um, which is primer one, the grey spray. Um, I'm going to try the white gloss when I come to do the upper part. Um, hopefully because that will leave a, uh, a sheen. Um, and I'm going to try and get away without using the matte white. But uh, if that doesn't work I might have to. Um, and then for the bases, I've got the uh, Midnight Blue, um, which is uh, Blue 15, and the uh, the range. So let's see how we get on. And there we are, all off the sprues. What I'm going to do now is uh, just tidy up the uh, loose ends of plastic from uh, when I've cut them off, and then I'm going to glue them all together. Um, I'm using some uh, uh, PVC glue. Uh, but that's just because I've got some lying around. Um, that'll have these uh, set solid when they're glued together. Um, so let's get on with that now, and uh, I'll see you in a second. After all that, they're all glued together. Um, that was a bit of a pain, um, but uh, very simply done. Um, what I've done is they actually come as standard. They're designed so they've only got one base. Um, so you see here there's a there's a base there, and then a split, and then another base before the column. I've doubled them up, mainly because on the uh, the station, um, just the one isn't quite big enough. So if I see, if I put it there, you can see that's a, that's a going to be a good height for the uh, future canopy. Um, just the one wasn't quite enough. Um, so as you can see, my uh, um, column selection is just drying. Um, the next job on the list is to spray them all up and for that I'll be using uh, uh, Humbrol acrylic uh, primer uh, first and then the, uh, the bases will be blue and the rest of the column will be white. So that's my next job. So here we are in my trusty spray box. Um, the first colour of course is the grey primer. Um, that's literally just the Humbrol. 150 mil spray. Um, so let's get on with that. So that's two coats of uh, the grey primer now uh, dry. I'm uh, going to move on now to the uh, the white gloss. Um, in this instance, it's the uh, White gloss 22, 
of the uh, Humbrol acrylic spray can. So same again, I'm going to give them two coats and uh, you can join me when that's done. So as you can see, the uh, white gloss um, isn't quite thick enough. So what I'm going to do is, uh, even after two coats, you can, I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's just not quite enough colour. Um, I mean, it's well, well covered, but it's just not quite white enough. Um, it's almost like the paint is sort of slightly separated. So what I'm going to do is cover it with a, uh, a matte white before the gloss now. Um, so I'm going to cover it in matte white and then um, then uh, back over with the gloss again. So as you can see, the matte white worked a treat. Um, really not sure what happened with the gloss. I think it was either not mixed properly when I shook it or uh, it caught a bit of moisture. Um, but um, no, as you can see, it's really good. Um, what I've done is I've separated the bases and I'm going to uh, spray those separately because they're going to be the uh, blue. Back to another uh, spray can. Um, this one is the uh, Midnight Blue. Um, I've actually finished already. Um, and these are the uh, bases in the bottom of my uh, spray box. Um, nothing posh here, I tell you. So if we pick one up, um, you can see that's uh, nicely coated that. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to stick them all back together and uh, see how they look on the uh, station. Right, let's get on with that. And there we are, placed on the platforms. You can slowly see uh, the sort of station coming out the ground and you can kind of see where I'm going with it. Um, the next phase, of course, will be uh, the more uh, superficial structure, so um, the tops to the columns, um, which will really give it some presence um, and just sort of make the, the uh, station stand out a mile. Um, this platform here will have a, uh, a small canopy on it, um, very similar to how Newcastle is, um, but as I say I don't think they look too bad, um, but um, obviously placement has to change. Um, these are going to come off again now, um, I'm going to get the, uh, the track bed sorted so all the ballasting is about to be done, any detail that needs to be added will be glued in and stuck down, so that's the next job before we get on with the uh, with the canopy. As you can see, one uh, small detail I've added is the uh, um, the buffer lights at the end of the uh, uh, DMU platforms here, which uh, are the gauge master ones that literally just clip into the track and turn on with the power. But I think they're so effective, they add so much, so much life to that scene, and there's nothing really to it yet. But no, we can see how this is uh, this is going to develop. It's definitely a uh, a super project, um, and uh, every hurdle I seem to tackle, it seems to uh, uh, create a few more. But uh, all part of the fun of modelling. So uh, yeah, this hasn't been the most interesting of videos, but uh, I do think it's important to document the entire process. Um, I want to thank you for sticking with it for so long. If you're still watching, um, another big thanks is to Bren. Um, who kindly sent me these columns um, from his spare, from his Pico kits. Um, and if I can urge you to uh, go and find him out on uh, Facebook, um, I think you have to go to his personal page. I will put a link in the description um, um, after he's uh, said it's okay to do so. Um, to his layout, Mayfield Central, um, which is probably one of the best I've seen. Um, on the modern image era, so do check that out. Um, it is well worth it, um, and you can uh, see the same columns in action. But uh, as ever, thank you for watching, and uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.